Hi, welcome to the channel. So we've had the Tau Codex leaked early, and there's already some long videos available reviewing it, and there'll be even more this weekend. In this video, I'll tell you everything you need to know in under five minutes. Some things of note. There are four detachments, one for the Crute, and there's still Mont Car and Kayun. There's not as many as in other codexes, which is a bit strange. The guided mechanic remains the same. Crisis suits have been split into three day sheets with fixed weapons and no cyclic iron blasters. Crute are now viable as an army with some interesting options. In my last video, I predicted which models might be gone, and it's now confirmed. As I thought, it's the fine cast characters, Ornvar, Ornshi, and Longstrike, and then the Crisis Commander and Tactical Drones. Crisis suits have seen various nerfs in this codex. There are only three model units, they can only take two weapons each, and those are fixed by data sheet. Only one of the three variants gets shield generators, and plasma rifles are down to 18 inch range. Drones are still war gear options and essentially tokens. Stealth suits guiding is a lot better, still one of my favourite units. The Riptide has remained identical, which is a little surprising. Farsight can now use a battle tactic for zero CP, and the Sky Ray has got even better at shooting. Now for the detachments. Kayun, the index detachment, and it keeps the same general buff, but has had changes to enhancements and strats. You get sustained hits one from battle round three onwards, and sustained hits two when you're guided. The move shoot move strat has gone to the retaliation cadre detachments, but a new one for this detachment is solid image projection unit, it allows you to redeploy three units, although it's done before you decide first turn. There's still the enhancement to get the detachment bonus from turn two for the bearer's unit. And for the strats, the best ones are attempting trap for one CP, plus one to wound against units on an objective, but this is only available from battle round three. And wall of mirrors for one CP, stealth, ghost keel and shadow sun can all go up into reserves. Great for movement, but they don't have deep strikes, so it can't be done turn one. Monkar, my previous favourite way to play. For battle rounds one to three, all weapons gain lethal hits. And while a unit is guided, weapons also gain assault. And the reason why I love this before is how mobile it made the army with that assault keyword. There's two good enhancements, strike swiftly, two units within six gain scout six, and coordinated exploitation, guide a unit and they get sustained hits one. For the strats and compared to Kayun, some of them are pretty pricey at two CP, but the best ones include pinpoint counteroffensive for one CP. When a unit is killed, you can then get rerolls for your entire army against the unit that did it. I also like also advanced six inches, and Revo wounds against the nearest enemy when you get out of the transport. Retaliation Cadre, a new one. You get plus one strength within 12 inches, and plus one AP within six. It feels like the old 9th edition Farsight rules, and an interesting playstyle to be so up close. Not normally somewhere to how one to be though. The best enhancement is Star Flare Ignition System. The bearer in the unit can go into reserves, which is nice to jump around the board. But if you go second and the unit has Deep Strike, then you can do this turn one. It also works nicely with the three inch deep strike they can get and gives them both the plus one strength and AP. The strats seem to be pretty nice as well. I like auto explode, just a shame it's two CP. Another two CP one that's also great, the shortened blade. That's the deep strike within three inch one. And of course the move shoot move for one CP. Crute hunting pack, as it suggests, primarily for a crute detachment. And while at first view it looks like the crute might struggle into high toughness things, you can still bring normal tail units for that. The crute get all the buffs though, plus one to hit when below starting strength, and plus one to wound when below half strength. There's one particular fantastic enhancement, the Crute Hawk Flock, which denies deep strike to 12 inches. And for the strats, two CP to bring a unit back. This is interesting if you use it on a 20 model strong carnivore unit that's 2 OC, some good objective play there. And Hidden Hunters for one CP make a unit untargetable over 12 inches away. I think it's gonna be a while before the actual points are available for Tau, but I can't wait to start playing it. I think for now, probably Montcar is still my favorite, but I'm gonna try them all out. See you again soon. Bye.